Greetings, I'm Captain Michael Turner, the commanding officer of Coast Guard Bark Eagle. Welcome aboard. Right now we're in the aft part of the ship. I thought we'd take a moment to talk about the ship's history. Eagle was built at the Blumenbach shipyard in Hamburg, Germany in 1936. She was one of three tall ships built by the German Navy during World War II. The first, Gorschfock, was built in 1933. Horse Vessel, which we're on, was built in 1936. And the Albert Leo Schlegeter was built in 1937. At the end of World War II, the United States took Horse Vessel as a war reparation and renamed her Eagle. Back here on this bulkhead, we commemorate every one of the cadet training cruises that Eagle has sailed beginning with 1946. We're going to take a walk back aft and talk a little bit more about Eagle's history. You're now in the flag cabin. The flag cabin has been redone over the years, but as we walk back aft, we still have some of the original construction in the actual cabin itself. So all of this tiger maple wood that you see on the bulkheads is the original uh, from the ship's construction in 1936. A common question that we often get asked is, how did the Coast Guard wind up with the tall ship? And the answer is this coffee table. This coffee table was a gift from the King of Denmark and is a picture of the tall ship Denmark. Denmark was sailing around the world and in the summer of 1940 found itself in Jacksonville, Florida. With the outbreak of the war, the decision was made not to return to Europe, and instead, Denmark stayed in the United States. Beginning in the winter of 1942, Coast Guard Academy cadets trained on board Denmark from 1942 through 1944. Commander McGowan, who was on staff at the Coast Guard Academy at the time, spent his summers training on board with the Danish and the cadets. In 1946, he was chosen to be Eagle's first commanding officer and was sent to Germany to refit that boat and then sail it back to the United States with a half Coast Guard, half German crew. As we move forward to the wardroom, we'll see a plaque commemorating that maiden voyage with the names of all of those sailors. As the crew sailed back from Germany, annotated by this point here, they ran into a hurricane after a port call in Bermuda. The ship made it to port safely in New York, but she was tattered and in pretty bad shape. Immediately upon arriving in New York, the German crew members were removed from the ship and sent back to Germany. Here in the wardroom are the officers' mess. We have some photographs of Eagle, and one in particular I'd like to point out is this picture. That is horse vessel in Bremerhaven in 1946. That is how Commander McGowan found the ship. If you look closely in the background, you can see that Bremerhaven is completely destroyed by the Allied bombing campaign. So it really is amazing that the ship survived. The ship was pulled out and began repairs. And as mentioned, the crew consisted of a half, coast, half U.S. Coast Guard and half German crew. Like any crew, over time, over the six months that it took to, to refit the ship and make her safe to sail back, the crews became very close. And it was a sad occasion upon returning in New York when the German crew was removed and sent immediately back. Commander McGowan captured this adventure in his memoir called The Skipper and the Eagle. Good day, and welcome aloft on Coast Guard Cutter Eagle. My name is Chief Warrant Officer Spencer Greer, and I'm the sailmaster on board. We are currently 65 feet above the deck on the main mast top platform. You might notice that we call Eagle a cutter, but she's actually not a cutter, it's a bark. A bark is any sailing ship with three or more masts that have square sails on their forward masts and four and aft sails on their aft. Eagle, a bark, has 23 sails. 10 are square, and 13 are fore and aft sails. This is approximately 23,000 square feet of canvas, almost a quarter acre in size. Also of note, take a look at the hull of the ship. 
When the ship was built in the 1930s, arc welding was a new procedure, although not fully trusted. So when you take a look at the hull, you'll notice that it is both welded and riveted. They trusted weld welding enough to butt weld, but not enough to seam weld, so they riveted the remaining of the hull. I hope you have a great tour on Coast Guard Cutter Barkey.